Hi, right, welcome back to Cinema 4D Tutorials and a whole host of other things that we get into on this channel. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about how to model a building. Um, you know, I think the easiest way to do it is to use the loop uh, cutting tool. Um, and so in this uh, image that you're looking at, we modeled this after an actual building in Denver um, for the purposes of putting this actually in augmented reality. And it actually has an animated bus that drives up to the bus stop. It's definitely not perfect yet. And then it kind of speeds off and goes back down the road. So we're going to talk about how, how do we do this? You know, how do we, just simply looking at an image, um, what we did was we counted all the floors. We knew it was um, 30 floors tall and 366 feet. So we actually are able to make it to scale. Um, by changing the units to feet and making sure that uh, we're at 366 feet and we've got our 30 floors, which if you actually count them out, we do have 30 floors in here. But, you know, there's little nuances in here, like this is from the parking garage, there's this little front entrance here, and then the windows get bigger as you go up. So what's the most efficient way to do it? Because there's obviously a ton of ways to do it. Um, so if we go into File New, obviously the first place we're going to start is with any cube. All right, and uh, with this cube, what we need to do is kind of decide what's the shape. Is it a true box? Is it a size skyscraper? Is this going to be a little more narrow like this? Um, but we're going to start just as a true cube, and uh, we don't even need to change anything with our segments yet. We're just going to make it editable. And now that's going to give us the ability to start extruding different faces of this polygon if we want to. Um, and so I'm going to say that I want this to be kind of a unique look. So I'm going to go to my, I'm going to hit K on the keyboard and then I'm going to hit L. And now we're in our nice loop cutting tool. So maybe, you know, a third of the way up. It's going to have a cut, and then another third of the way up. It's going to have a cut. Nice thing about the loop tool is I can actually change where I want that cut to be made. Or, going back to the initial cut I make, I could actually go over here and make it a symmetrical cut. Um, sorry, I could change the number of cuts and that would make a symmetrical cut. So now it's being cut into thirds. If I go three, it's being cut into fourths. And this is how you, the best way to do your floors. So in the case of the building I'm, I just modeled, I knew I had 30 floors, right? Now you're like, well, you obviously didn't do this the right way because it looks too condensed now. You can always go back to our general polygon view and just raise the whole level of this thing up. So now we are kind of getting into skyscraper mode. And then go back and now we do have these nice and even floors. All right, now I'm just gonna go back to my loop tool and I'm gonna add a couple cuts going the other way. Um, so I'm gonna say, we'll do one cut here, right in the center. And we'll do one cut here right in the center. So what that's going to allow me to do is maybe do some funky stuff on the roof when I get to the end. But what I'm going to do first is in my line, no, I'm going to stay in my polygon tool. I'm going to get out on the knife. Now I can start playing around with my object. I basically have a Jenga piece here that is ready to be manipulated. So if we go into the front view, and I click on my quick selection tool and make sure that only select visible elements is turned off, I can begin to do some things. So let's go down to that level of the building. So now we have this top half of the building selected. So now we could do something like, I don't know, we could minimize it or scale it down a little bit, maybe. And, you know, now I've got that curved floor there that kind of does something for, you know, 
if you're trying to make like a an Empire State Building or something or some kind of unique structure, you could go up to the top and do the same thing. And we could pull this out and then we can really scale it down as well and we kind of make a again a nice vertical or a, 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 a angled uh, roof to this thing. Um, and now the nice thing is since you have all these floors you can easily go through and you know select up every other one and put like a, a nice piece of glass in there like a window material. So if I go in here select transparency bump that up Say I want my color to be kind of like a dark uh, shade color. Let's see, something like that. Um, and then my reflectance. I want it to be. I'm going to add a Beckman and turn that down a little bit. That really gives it a glass feel. Now, if I drag that onto those. I've got some glass that will really come to life if I add like a physical sky here. If I render that out, you're starting to get reflections off that sun since this is facing the sun direction. Um, and you know now you'll start to get some play any direction that you uh, whoops, rotate your building. You're going to start to see a different kind of reflection there. So now when you start to actually build out a city, Let's say you build up, you know, a building here, and there's a building there, and there's a building there, a building there, and maybe this building's moved back a little bit so you can see that. Render it. Now you can start to see reflections off other buildings in this downtown. And it's only gonna look better as we add a floor. Now we really start to see the city coming to life. So I know that was probably not the most straightforward uh, tutorial, but just to recap, the best thing we can do for building buildings is to start with a cube and go hit K on your keyboard and hit the L button. K and L, loop path cut. And by playing around for a short while, you can easily come up with a building that looks exactly like a building in real life that you're trying to model. So I hope this helped. That's an end of another Cinema 4D tutorial. Thank you.